Hey you guys, I hope you're all having an awesome day so far. I'm having a pretty good day better than the past two days. Last night I got the announcement that BTS postponed the map of the Seoul tour and I was so happy because they are honoring all tickets for whenever they reschedule it. And I don't care if it's in January, like my happy butt will be in the middle of Chicago in a parka with hand warmers if I have to, I will be happy. I was scared to death they were gonna cancel it and we'd all have to go through ticketing again, which if you've ever gone and bought BTS tickets, you know it's like stressful on the level of like root canal. Anyway, um, I was watching Governor Cuomo's press conference, um, Governor of New York, I don't live there, but I watch their press conference just because they're having the largest number of cases. And I had to shut it off just because all the projections and stuff were making me stressed. So I hope that you guys are having a good day, that you are doing what you need to do to take care of your mental health. Right now, I kind of adjusted my lights and pulled my side lights out a bit more because I noticed my lighting was looking really weird. So I wanted to try pulling them out to the side more and seeing if that helps. So we'll see when I go to edit this, if there's any difference. And also if you hear any weird noises in the background, my husband is actually outside. He is building me a table out of scrap wood and supplies we already have in our garage because I want to film a get ready with me later and we don't have a coffee table in our house just because I don't like having stuff in the middle of the living room, just I want space there um, and too much furniture makes me twitchy. But I want something that was like coffee table height to film a study with me because filming at my desk is really difficult because my desk is against wall, that's where I normally film, and it's very difficult to set up good camera angles and things like that. And multiple camera angles are pretty much impossible. Plus, it's better for your body if instead of sitting in a chair on the, all the time, you sit on the floor once in a while. So I want a floor table, basically. And I didn't have anything in the house that would work as floor table that was the right size to be able to fully spread out like all my stain materials and everything. But we had a bunch of extra supplies from building our table last year in our garage. So my husband is building me a table, a mini table, and he is very happy to have a project to do because he's going stir crazy being in the house. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm probably going to be doing this in all my videos instead of doing like once monthly updates. Um, I'll probably like when I do my big get right with me life updates, I'll probably just give you guys short updates at the beginning of videos because everything's changing so fast. Um, but anyway, today we are doing empties. I have a lot of these. This is not all the empties I have. I've gone through so many in the past two weeks that I literally have a pile of empties on my floor over there that are going to go into this box for the next empties video, because otherwise this would be like two hours long, which is ridiculous. So there will be more empties videos more frequently, just because when I'm bored at home, I'm doing more face masks, doing more self care, doing my makeup more often, things like that. I'm going to jump right into this. I want to talk about so much stuff. Like I want to be like, hey guys, have you played Animal Crossing? Cause I have a Switch and I didn't buy Animal Crossing and I'm kind of regretting it. <laughs> so anyway, empties. I'm all over the place. Okay, first up. Love Beauty and Planet Clean Ocean Edition Sea Salt and Bergamot Deep Detox Shampoo. I really like all these Love Beauty and Planet shampoos. I've tried like three different kinds so far. They're all really, really, really good. I like them and they're all really gentle on my hair color as well. Um, this one, of course, is like a detoxy clarifying, so it is harsher if you use color. Um, the only thing I have noticed is I go through these very fast. I don't know if they're smaller in ounces than the average shampoo, but I do go through these really fast. This one smells really yummy, and it's not super, super like salty smelling, which is nice. So I went through one of those. I also went through the turmeric and tonka essence shampoo. 
Tonka Essence is one of my very favorite scents. Um, like anything from Lush with Tonka Essence in it is amazing. So I went through this and it's really, really good. I like it. I recommend it. These are also like six or seven bucks. So they're very, very affordable drugstore shampoos. A lot of this is like usual, like self care stuff. I went through this. This is a Bath and Body Works Black Current Vanilla Body Wash and Foam Bath. This is one of my favorite aromatherapy scents from them. It's hard to describe, but it's like the smell of a warm hug. Like it's so good and it has a light fruit scent to it but it's very warm and comforting at the same time. So I love using this. I don't tend to use this as a body wash. I use this more as a bubble bath. Uh, let's see. I went through a thing of the Ulta Beauty cotton pads. I really do like these. These are my second favorite next to the Shiseido cotton pads. And these are more affordable. Candles. I have been going through so many candles lately just because um, I'm home to burn them. So I'm finishing up a lot of the winter and fall scents that I didn't get to use or didn't get fully through last fall and winter. This is Vanilla Be Noel, my guaranteed Christmas candle. I buy this every single year. I love it, it smells so good. This is one of those that I kind of burn all year round if I can get away with it. And then I also went through this one. This is Red Velvet Cupcake. This only comes out once a year. My Bath & Body Works will only carry this during their um, $8 candle sale right before Christmas. This is the only freaking time they have this candle and I don't know why. Like they need to carry this around Christmas, they need to carry it around Valentine's Day, they need to carry it around summer, they need to carry it 24 seven because it smells exactly like red velvet cupcake with bar cream frosting on it and it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. All right, and the last candle for today is of course my classic Marshmallow Fireside, another one of my, I burn this all year round, winter, summer, whenever, I don't care. It smells so good. It makes me so happy. I, I have a thing. You know how you have that camp of people where the people who want just very lightly brown marshmallows and the people who want like the burnt marshmallows? I'm in the burnt marshmallow category. So this for me, it smells like one of my very favorite things to eat in the whole wide world. All right, more hair care. These Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioners. Don't mind how gross these are, please. I have hard water, so everything in my shower ends up looking like this, even if I scrub my shower every single day. This conditioner is amazing. It's super duper cheap. It's really good. Um, It's not great for deep conditioning, I will say that. However, I use this um, if I'm dyeing my hair with Arctic Fox and I need to thin it out, I use this because in my opinion, from what I've tried, it works just as well as the Arctic Mist Diluter, but it's way, 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 way cheaper. And I use this as a regular hair conditioner. I'll use it as mask. I love this stuff. It's so good, so cheap, and I can buy it in really, really big bottles. Very important to have lots of conditioner if you bleach your hair. This is the Kristen S Extra Gentle Shampoo. I really, really like this shampoo. It's very good. My only issue with it and why I stopped buying it is because the new packaging does this. And it's disgusting. It like wears off and goes gross and I can't stand it. It freaks me out. The product itself is really good. I just hate the packaging. This is actually one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. I know. This is the Johnson's No More Tangles Leave-In Conditioner. I really, really like this, especially if you have hair like mine where even after flat ironing, even after putting in oils and all the good expensive stuff, it still gets like little frizzies and flyaways. This is perfect for getting those down. Um, I'm trying different products right now, so I haven't repurchased this yet, but there's kind of one of those staple things that I almost always have in 
my bathroom. The vitamins, Ali Perfect Women's Multi, my favorite vitamin. I love it so much. I can take it on an empty stomach because I tend to intermittent fast. I very, very rarely eat breakfast in the morning, but I like taking my vitamins in the morning, so that's perfect for me. Uh, let's see. Ooh, a body wash. This is the body wash that my husband uses. I tend to have like allergic reactions to the scents in a lot of drugstore body products. Um, the hairy stuff doesn't bother me though. Like my husband can use this and I can cuddle up next to him and I won't go into a sneezing fit. So I like these a lot. Yay, we're getting down to the little stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to get better on not making my videos be like 40 minutes long. Okay, I went through a lot of these. These are the Peach Slices Acne Spot Dots. I buy these at CVS. I typically buy as many of these as I can buy at a time, but I've noticed that my CVS hasn't been carrying them anymore, so I'm kind of worried. Like, I need to know where I can go to buy these because these are so good. I like these better than the Cosrx ones. They're nice, they're thin, I can go out with wearing them and people don't notice that I have them on half the time. Um, they work really, really well and I just love them and clearly I go through a lot of them. Highly recommend. This is the Cosrx Oil Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion with Birch Sap. This is a lotion that smells exactly like 7up. It smells so good, it's like a lemon limey scent to me. I know it's not supposed to be a lemon lime scent, but that's what it smells like. It smells like soda. This is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful base lotion. Like say you do toner, essence, then do lotion. This is wonderful for wearing under makeup. Um, I'm trying a different brand right now, but I've repurchased this several, several times because I love it. It's very lightweight, goes beautifully under makeup, and it's also great as, you know, use toner, use essence, use this, and then put a heavier night cream on at night. It's great for layering products. So I'm a huge, huge fan of this. I would highly recommend it, and it's good for sensitive skin as well. Oh look, more hair stuff. I went through a whole thing of Arctic Fox Girls Night. I was using this to tone my hair when I was going blonde, so that was nice. It worked really pretty well for that. It faded out really fast though, like the tying effect only lasted maybe one extra shampoo. And then I also have an empty bleach of the bleach that I use. It's the Ion Color Brilliance Bright White Cream Lightener. I really, really like this. It's very gentle on my hair. It I've never had like any major breakage associated with using this. And yeah, it's kind of, it's just easy to use, especially if you don't like playing with powders. But anyway, yes, highly rec recommend Arctic Fox. I have not tried a color from them yet that I have not liked. We have the Skin Food Pineapple Peeling Gel. I don't like this. I used it up but I do not like this as much as the e.l.f. version of this. This one's just weird. It doesn't work as well. It's like stickier and weird. I don't know. I just, I'm not a big fan of this one at all. Um, I mean, it works okay, but it doesn't work as well as other peeling gels I've tried in the past. I would most likely not repurchase this one. And my very favorite makeup remover, this has probably replaced the Japanese oil that I used to use and buy off Amazon. This is from a Korean company. This is Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. I use the original one in the pink jar just because it works well and I like pink. Um, yeah, and it comes with a little spatula scoopy if you want to use it. By the way, all companies that have spatula scoops with your face products, please do this. Use like a little plastic insert that will sit on top and hold the scoop because I have so many products that come with little spatulas 
and then I have nowhere to put the spatula. So I either have to leave it sitting on top of the product, I have to throw it in a drawer, in which case I'll forget to use it, etc. Like this, this is brilliant. So I went through a whole thing of that and I went out like the next day and repurchased because A, I didn't have any other makeup remover in the house and B, I love this so much. It's so, so good. All right, we're getting down to the little things, the samples, stuff like that. If you guys watch my Sephora play unboxings and you wanna see what I think of a lot of those items, well, but we're going through a lot of those right now. First off, the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. This actually isn't that bad. It's not the best. Like, it's okay. It's a little bit on the oily side, but not as bad as I thought it would be. So I don't mind this. I went through two of these samples during my no buy and it works pretty good. I don't think I'd ever buy a full size because I prefer makeup removers that I can use on my eyes and my face, but there's that. Ooh, this is called The Good Stuff. This you can get at Target. It's their complete repairable no rinse conditioner. I really, really like this. I like using this the same way that I use the Johnson's No Tangle Leave-In to smooth down all these little tiny flyaways in my hair that no matter what I do, they insist on sticking up. This is great for that. I can't talk, I need more coffee. Anyway, I really, really like this. I got this as a sample from a friend who worked at Target and um, really good, I like it a lot. I would probably actually rebuy this because this was really nice and it didn't overly weigh down my hair or make it feel greasy. Living Proof Perfect Hair Day in Shower Styler. This is meant for air dried styles. I don't think it works that well. Nope, not a big fan of that. Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. So this smells like cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works, like back in the 90s, cucumber melon. But I really like this cleanser. I would rebuy it. It's very gentle. The only thing I didn't love about it is it said it is good for removing makeup and mascara. If you do one wash with this and try and wash off all your makeup just with this, your face will not come clean. You either have to double wash with this or how I like to use it once I realize that wasn't that good for removing makeup as it claims to be, go in with an oil makeup remover, do that first and then follow up with this. But I will say this is very, very gentle. It doesn't make my skin squeaky. It doesn't over dry it. It's a very nice gentle face cleanser. I just wouldn't use it as it recommends to remove makeup. All right, we have the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. This is okay, it's actually not bad. It's fairly hydrating. Would I say it's like earth shattering, like change lives have to buy this specific face mist? No. Does it work well? Yes. Do I like that it's in a nice glass bottle? Yes. We have, oh, this was not a sample. This is a full size product. I bought this from The Ordinary. This is their Buffet Multi-Technology Peptide Serum. I love this stuff. I keep forgetting I need to put on my list now to buy another one of these. Buffet is so, so, so good for your skin. I love it. This is probably one of my favorite like essence type products that I've tried, like essence serum -y type products. Technically it says it's a serum, but it's pretty thin. This is wonderful for your skin. It's great for layering. It doesn't ball up. It doesn't bunch up. It's very nourishing for your skin. I love it. I like the Ordinary's products in general. I like the droppers. I love the glass bottles. I love the design of them, and I like the products inside. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend trying this. This has been my favorites multiple times. It's an excellent product. I think it's only like somewhere between like six and 12 bucks. Very affordable too. Next we have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I used most of this too, but I noticed that this mascara on me hasn't worked as well as it used to. 
This flakes off into my eyes really, really badly. I will have a full just layer of flakes when I wear this. So I don't know if this particular tube was a little bit old when I got it. I don't know if it had previously, you know, been opened if someone messed with it or something, but it was very, very flaky. So I don't know if it's that the product was old or it's the formula, but I've had like three or four of these, even like brand new off the shelf ones, just flake on me really, really bad. So I'm pretty sure it's the formula. If anyone's had problems with this flaking on them, please let me know that it's not just me. I also went through the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This is really good. I like this one a lot. Most of Briogeo's products that I've tried, I've liked. I haven't tried any of their shampoos and conditioners yet though, I don't think. I keep eyeing that banana shampoo and conditioner because I love the smell of banana runs and it smells exactly like banana runs but I really really like this deep conditioning mask. Next we have the Drunk Elephant Sly Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. I think that's how that's pronounced. I did not get to use this because I went to use it. I was very excited to use it and then I smelled it. And you guys, it smells like rotten vegetable oil. Like, you know when vegetable oil goes bad and it smells rancid? That's what this smells like to me. It smells like rancid vegetable oil. So I'm very hesitant to put it on my face. If any of you have used this before, tell me, is this supposed to smell like rancid vegetable oil? Because if it is, and it's still good, then I'll go ahead and try and use it. But this stinks really bad and I'm worried that it's gone off and I don't wanna put anything that's gone off on my face and there's no manufacture date on it at all. So I don't know. If you have this or have used it, please tell me what it smells like. Lancome Mr. Big. I love this mascara. I think it's excellent. It makes your lashes look gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of it. It does flake once it tends to get older and dry out, but the brush is beautiful. The formula is very thick. It's a very nice mascara in general. I would definitely recommend trying this. And this is one I would definitely buy a full size of. This one was a disappointment. I even put a sticky note on to remember what it did. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. This flakes. Brand new, never opened, used on my eyes the first time. Like the wand looks great, the formula looks great. It flaked underneath my eyes in less than half an hour. Mm. Not okay. Did not make me happy because I had to be out all day. I looked in the mirror to touch up my lip gloss and it was just like black flakes everywhere. And I couldn't get home or anywhere I had access to stuff to fix it. I was not happy. I'm very mad at it. It just not good. All right, so next up is the Sunday Riley CEO 15% Vitamin C Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. Um, I actually like this for vitamin C. It doesn't sting. It doesn't make your skin uncomfortable. It seems very gentle. However, there wasn't enough in here to get like a full, full trial out of it, but I did test spot test it on some dark spots I had from the cystic acne I got around here and it does help with lifting those layers of skin. So this is something I'd like to try more of even though Sunday Riley is crazy expensive and see um, how it would work if I used it on a more regular basis. But I did like this a good bit. Next one is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. I do like this eye cream. It's one of the very few that I have used underneath my eyes, underneath makeup that works well. Most eye creams don't work well underneath makeup. This one does and does so beautifully. I just wish the salespeople at 
Clinique counters in stores, like Ulta weren't quite so pushy about products that you're like, no, I don't like that. I've tried it before. No good pushy about it. Maybe it's just my store. Anyway, I really like this. This I would highly, highly recommend. Next, we have the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. <gasps> I know people hated the smell of this. You guys, I love this cream. I love the smell of it. It's super, super moisturizing. I was so sad when I was out of it. I love the color of the packaging. It smells exactly like buttered popcorn jelly bellies. Exactly. If you have this at home, go and sniff it. I know it's supposed to smell like, um... I know it has something specific it's supposed to smell like, but it doesn't smell like whatever it's supposed to smell like. It smells like buttered popcorn jelly beans, and I want some so bad every time I smell this, and I'm out of it, and I want a big thing of it because it smells so good, and I love this as a body cream. It's one of those lotions that you put on and it soaks in really fast and your skin doesn't feel gross, which is huge to me. So major fan of this. We have the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is okay. This is fairly similar to like any other non-oily based sleeping mask that you would use on your face. It's very good for moisturizing. It was okay. I don't think it's something that I would deliberately go out to find, unlike their lip masks, which I'm in love with. They make the best lip masks ever, ever, ever. And then we have what's probably been my favorite brow product lately. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 2.5, which is perfect when your hair is either blonde or would it be an empties video if I didn't accidentally drop or throw something? This is perfect if you have blonde hair or on um, like pastel hair and don't want your brows super dark, but don't want them super blonde light either. This is just that like perfect, perfect color. Unfortunately, the last little bit of the tip fell out so I can't use it. It's super fine. This pencil lasts a lot longer than the Anastasia brow pencils in my experience. And also it has a super duper fine spoolie, which I love as well. So I will probably repurchase this and I would also highly recommend it. To end our empties today, I have a, a bunch of stuff spilled in this container so it looks gross, ew, empty container, and we have it, three perfumes. First of all is the Jo Malone London Peony and Blush Suede. I'm going to go against the majority of popular opinion here and say that I do not like the majority of Jo Malone scents just because a lot of them are very strong. I love this though. Peony and Blush Suede, this smells so, so good. It's soft, it's gentle, it's really pretty. It's just a pretty scent. Then I have the Nest Fragrances Citrine Scent. It's citrus. I love anything citrus. Flat out, any, pretty much any perfume with a citrus base to it, I'm going to love. Like, my very first perfume that I remember buying for myself that I fell in love with was Clinique Happy, like way back in the day when it came out. And ever since then, just everything citrus. The other one I went through is my Burberry Blush. There's still a little tiny bit in here, but I can't get it out, it won't come out. This is also, it goes along that line of like blush fragrances where it's a very light, soft floral. I like those as well. I can barely get any out to describe the scent to you, but it's just another one of the soft, lightly floral with like some underhints of other scents to it, so it's not heavy. Cause I don't like the heavy, you can smell that it's rose or you can smell that it's a peony or whatever 
when they're wearing it or it smells like you just got hit in the face with the flower shop when they walk in the room. I like a very, if I go for a floral, it's gonna be a very light, soft floral. So this is wonderful for that. That's all my um, empties, you guys. At least all the ones that I was able to fit in that container without having them fall out. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Of course, if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling down, if this whole situation has you feeling kind of off, you can always, always, always talk to me down in the comments. Find me over on Twitter. Find me over on Instagram. All the links for that are down below. Um, I don't respond to Facebook direct messages ever because, to be honest, 98% of all the messages Correction, 99.999% of all the messages I get on Facebook are from creepers. So message me on Twitter, on Instagram, um, get a hold of me. Let me know how you guys are doing. I'm always here to talk. I love chatting with you guys. Um, say hi down in the comments. Let me know how you guys are doing wherever you're at. We're still on a full state lockdown here, so I am pretty much in my office all day. But I hope that wherever you guys are doing, you are healthy and you are safe and that you are having somewhat, at least somewhat of a good day. Remember, take care of your mental health first. I love you guys and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.